everybody, Tim here with today's review of Doctor Who story number 148, Time in the Ronnie. So, brand new season, season 24, it brings us to 1987, which is just absolutely ridiculous, like, I can't even believe it. It's kind of a weak start, like, it's not terrible, but it is a little bit on the weaker side, where the TARDIS is being shot down, and they flip the doctor over and it's he's just immediately being regenerated and like i like sylvester mccoy he's a great actor and colin baker i like the sixth doctor i i thought he was great um i thought colin baker did w did fine but he was basically fired from the job and they asked him, like, hey, do you want to come back just for the regeneration? And he basically said, fuck you, no. Which, I don't blame him. It is what it is. And so, like, you can clearly tell, like, it's Sylvester McCoy in, like, just a blonde wig. And they roll him over and his face is pure white and then he regenerates and the wig comes off. And it's like, okay, whatever. They, they it's, it's not a bad job. But still, it's, it's very odd. So... It's not the first time that we've kind of skipped over the generation, like from two to three, we kind of did that. So overall, the new music, oh, I'm not digging it, like going, because they, I don't know, it just, it seems like the further into the 80s we go, the more upbeat and like almost techno it gets. And it's like, oh, I'm not digging it. So we get that, uh, the, the Ronnie pretending to be Mel is phenomenal, like Granted, I've been drinking a lot, but still, like, her being the Ronnie, I'm like, you know, I would have fallen for that. Like, he's going through, like, this post-regeneration stuff, so his mind's already kind of scrambled, and here I am, and I'm like, is that, is, like, I don't even, like, is Mel dubbing over her? Like, she is doing a great job at pretending to be Mel. The, the playing the spoons thing, I've never understood. Like, I grew up in the South, and I still, like, why do people play spoons? Like, I don't get it. So that thing, the, the doctor being like, mop my brow. What? So, like, that kind of bugged me. And he's like, you know, I have a new persona. Maybe this persona is sulky and bad-tempered. And I was like, okay, oh, we're back to the fifth doctor again. So that's cool. That's a thing. Uh, him trying on new outfits was kind of funny. It was very reminiscent of the fourth Doctor going through all of the different outfits. And then he even wears, like, the. it's not quite the same, but it is definitely the maroon coat and the scarf. And he's like, old hat. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's it's a little tongue-in-cheek, but still. It was like, it was a great little shout-out. The, the bat creatures uh, started with a T. I don't even remember what they're called. But the bat creatures where it's like an eye on every head and uh, it was like a Power Rangers villain. Like, honest to God, as soon as they popped up, I was like, oh, okay, so the Power Rangers are like Zardon's going to like sh send them over here. And uh, it's, it's a hot mess. It's like you can tell that we're getting into the late 80s. So, I don't know. Overall, I'm super excited for a new Doctor. I'm super excited to see the Ronnie again. I think she could have been great. And they never really do anything. Like, to this day, they're still talking about bringing her back and who would they cast and stuff like that. I would love to see the Ronnie again. I think it would be great. But they never really do much with her, so it's a little disappointing. But overall, it's, it's a nice start. It's a lot better than anything of the trial that we just got out of. But still, it's not phenomenal. Like, you can kind of feel that the end is near. So, I don't know. So, I'm curious what you guys think about the Seventh Doctor. What did you think about the Ronnie? Go ahead, let me know, and I will see you guys next time for Paradise Towers.